Cheeky Richos Choco Easy Sides. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richos Cooked Chocos. These much maligned little vegetables don't have a great deal of flavour. They are very economical and when they are in season they are very, very, very bountiful. We've showed you how to use them in a chutney recipe and now I'm just going to prepare them with a simple butter and salt and pepper. The ingredients are in the recipe box below. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is put our water on to boil and just add some salt. Put the lid on, that's doing its thing. We're going to peel these and we're going to peel them in water. Don't even think about doing these unless you have them under running water or under fresh water because they get covered with a, a slime which is very difficult to remove from your hands. So wet hands and peel them. This is my new peeler I got at the camping show the other day and it seems to be working quite well. Very strong. It's a Titan brand. The smaller chocos can be actually eaten with the skin on them and you can even eat the little seed in the center when they're really quite young and tender. But make sure you continually dip your hands and the fruit into the water to ensure that you remove this slime and it doesn't stick to your fingers because it'll really feel like you've got plastic skin on your fingers if you don't prepare it this way. So any little corey bits, just remove those with a knife quite simply. It's a sharp knife so don't cut yourself. Until we get it nice and clean. Okay and there you have it, it's been cleaned up. Put a chopping board and we're going to slice these very thinly. Now to stop your chopping board from sliding around your bench and perhaps getting a bit dangerous on you, if you just get a dishcloth and place it underneath it, your board will not slip. So that renders it a lot safer. So we're just going to get our choco and cut it down the centre. As you can see it has a little seed there and we're just going to slice it as thinly as we can and we're going to cook it until it is tender in the boiling water. So that's what you should have. They're really quite thin slices. So into the boiling water they go and I'm just going to rinse my hands again to remove that residue from the choker and continue with the other side. Okay, after about 10 minutes when they're nice and tender, it's time to strain them and bathe them in their warm butter. Okay, we just put the same pot back onto the heat, pop in our butter to warm through with a good sprinkle of our pepper. Just return our cooked choco in and toss them through the butter and the pepper and that's it. It's very easy. It's full of flavour now because we've added the seasonings to it. You could use celery salt, you could use pine nuts, but this is the most simple and the easiest way to serve these. Little serving plate. Pop them in there with our butter and pepper. You can put a sprinkle of parsley if you like. I'm going to put a sprinkle of spring onions because I think it benefits from that flavour. Just leave a little bit of butter sitting on top. Spring onions, and there you have it. A very simple, extremely economical, easy sides that everybody is going to enjoy and it's given a new lease of life to the humble choco. And there you have it, Chiggy Richo's Choco Easy Sides. They're intact, tender, moist, butter and pepper flavoured and really delicious. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, please check out our Cheeky Richo channel. And don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we are uploading lots of videos every week. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Have a little taste, shall we? Mmm, yummy. Thanks for watching.